April 17th marked the day that changed astrobiology forever, when NASA released data showing a familiar ocean gas on an alien world. A distant planet called K218b revealed chemical signatures as starlight, traveling 124 light years, carried them to the Webb telescope. These aren't faint traces that require speculation. The concentration levels measured in parts per billion are a thousand times higher than Earth's oceanic emissions, where peak DMS appears only in parts per million. Yet, instrument glitches remain possible, making verification crucial. Everything points to K218b being a water world with deep oceans hiding life that could be completely alien, yet undeniably real. But this discovery didn't happen overnight. The eight-year hunt that changed everything. One planet commanded immediate attention among 1,200 distant worlds, catalogued during Kepler's K-2 mission in 2015. K-218b is 2.5 times larger than Earth, with nearly nine times our planet's mass. Orbiting a red dwarf star in the constellation Leo, what made astronomers focus on this particular world wasn't just its impressive size and position, sitting precisely where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. 2017 brought the first density estimate from Chile's HARPS spectrograph, which measured tiny wobbles in the star's light caused by K218b's gravitational pull. The data revealed something extraordinary. This wasn't a barren rock, but potentially harbored vast oceans beneath its atmosphere. The Spitzer Space Telescope confirmed that K218b occupied the habitable zone around its star, that narrow band where water doesn't freeze solid or boil away instantly. The scientific community watched as each observation raised the stakes higher. By 2019, Hubble detected water vapor molecules drifting through K218b's atmosphere, captured as starlight filtered through the planet's atmospheric layers during transit. This represented the first direct evidence that water existed in some form on this distant world. Each telescope faced technical hurdles in analyzing atmospheric composition. Different gases absorb overlapping wavelengths, so separating their fingerprints is technically challenging. Carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor create distinct signatures. But atmospheric conditions can shift these patterns to confuse sophisticated instruments. As observations accumulated between 2015 and 2023, confidence levels climbed steadily what began as cautious interest in an unusual exoplanet evolved into a focused investigation of the most promising candidate for extraterrestrial life ever discovered. Scientists maintained strict protocols to avoid false positives that had embarrassed researchers in previous decades. By 2023, K218b had earned its reputation as the crown jewel of exoplanet research Eight years of careful observations had transformed this distant world from an interesting curiosity into humanity's best hope for finding life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope was ready to peer deeper into this alien atmosphere than any instrument before. The chemical signature that shouldn't exist. Webb's sensors detected something that shouldn't exist 124 light years from Earth. Dimethyl sulfide represents one of the most unstable chemical compounds in any planetary atmosphere, surviving only two to three days before solar radiation tears it apart. Finding this molecule drifting through alien skies creates an impossible puzzle pointing to only one solution. On Earth, Dimethyl sulfide emerges from the metabolic processes of marine phytoplankton and microscopic organisms floating in our oceans. These tiny life forms release DMS during their normal biological functions, but the compound reaches peak concentrations when the organisms decompose after death. 
The gas carries that distinctive ocean smell during windy coastal days, when waves churn the water and release accumulated DMS into the atmosphere. Transit spectroscopy allowed astronomers to analyze starlight, filtering through K218b's atmosphere as the planet passes in front of its star, distinguishing DMS from methane and other atmospheric compounds, which creates significant technical challenges since molecules share overlapping absorption features that can confuse even the most sophisticated instruments. DMS's atmospheric lifetime of just two to three days creates the core mystery surrounding K218b. Solar radiation and atmospheric chemistry destroy the compound so rapidly that maintaining detectable levels requires constant replenishment from active sources. This instability transforms DMS into a smoking gun for biological activity, since no known abiotic process can sustain such levels in any atmosphere. The concentration levels detected on K218b exceed Earth's most biologically productive ocean regions by 1,000. Our planet's richest marine environments produce DMS concentrations that pale compared to what Webb's instruments measured in this distant atmosphere. Such massive quantities demand biological processes operating on extraordinary scales. Webb's initial detection used an ear cam, but scientists face legitimate concerns about potential measurement errors or instrumental artifacts that might mimic DMS signatures. NASA's verification protocol demanded independent confirmation using MIRI, which operates at different wavelengths and employs separate detection methods. This dual instrument approach eliminated the possibility of systematic errors from a single device while providing robust confirmation of the initial findings. The thousand-fold concentration difference between K218b and Earth suggests something extraordinary is happening in that alien atmosphere. However, understanding what kind of world could harbor such activity requires examining the planet. Inside the alien ocean world, K2-18b represents a high sea world proposed in 2021, a class of ocean planets enveloped in hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Unlike Earth's thin nitrogen envelope, these planets wrap themselves in dense hydrogen blankets that could stretch hundreds of miles above their surfaces. The planet circles its star 2.5 times closer than Mercury orbits our Sun completing each year in just 33 Earth days. This proximity should create a scorched wasteland. But K218 burns much cooler and dimmer than our Sun, delivering roughly the same amount of heat to K218b that Earth receives despite the dramatically closer orbit. The thick hydrogen atmosphere surrounding K218b might serve as protective armor against stellar flares that red dwarf stars frequently unleash. Beneath this atmospheric shield, scientists debate what conditions exist. We detect no ammonia, which on a water world would dissolve into oceans, strengthening the ocean hypothesis. This missing compound supports the case for vast amounts of surface water. The scientific community remains divided on K218b's true nature Dr. Nicholas Vaughn of NASA's Ames Research Center expresses skepticism about the ocean world theory, suggesting the planet might represent a miniature gas giant without any solid surface. Professor Niku Madhusudan from Cambridge University's Institute of Astronomy maintains greater optimism, leading the research team that detected dimethyl sulfide and believing K218b genuinely harbors oceans with potentially thriving biological activity. The extreme conditions on K218b challenge our understanding of habitable environments. Atmospheric pressure could reach crushing levels while temperatures might turn oceans into boiling cauldrons. The planet's close orbit likely creates tidal locking, where one hemisphere faces permanent daylight while the other endures eternal darkness. 
Such temperature extremes would drive massive atmospheric circulation patterns, unlike anything seen in our solar system. Despite these ongoing debates about K218b's fundamental nature, detecting biological signatures carries unprecedented statistical weight that demands serious scientific consideration. What 99.7% means for humanity, the 99.7% confidence level represents what scientists call a three sigma result, meaning a 0.3% chance of a false positive. This statistical threshold marks a crucial milestone in scientific discovery, though it falls short of the gold standard required for declaring definitive proof. Before claiming life, researchers aim to boost confidence from three sigma to five sigma, the standard even used for the Higgs boson discovery, which demanded 99.99994% certainty with only a one in a million chance of error. The following one to two years will determine whether humanity faces its most remarkable discovery or another false alarm. Researchers must achieve this higher certainty through additional observations using multiple instruments and detection methods. Beyond confirming DMS presence, scientists must prove its biological origin matches the processes seen on Earth. The University of Cambridge team leading this research exercises extreme caution recognizing that premature announcements could damage the credibility of astrobiology as a field. K2-18b is 124 light years away, roughly 730 trillion miles from Earth. With current technology, this distance remains vast for human travel. Yet it represents a cosmic neighborhood by universal standards, the observable universe spans 93 billion light years, making K218b essentially next door in astronomical terms. If life exists at such close proximity, the implications extend far beyond a single discovery. Confirming life here would mean our galaxy is teeming with biospheres rather than barren rocks. This possibility transforms our understanding from searching for rare, isolated life instances to recognizing biology as a common cosmic phenomenon. The scientific implications would ripple through every field of study related to life's origins and prevalence. The scientific community maintains cautious optimism while preparing for paradigm-shifting revelations. Definitive proof requires detecting DMS and demonstrating its biological origin through multiple independent confirmations. Scientists must eliminate every possible non-biological explanation for the compound's presence before declaring victory. This methodical approach protects against the embarrassment of false discoveries that have plagued previous extraterrestrial life claims. Current research focuses on achieving the most stringent scientific standards before making definitive statements. The process involves confirming DMS detection across multiple wavelengths, ruling out instrumental errors, and establishing biological production as the only viable explanation for the observed concentrations. Each step brings humanity closer to answering whether we truly share the universe with other living worlds. The detection of dimethyl sulfide on K218b represents our strongest hint yet of extraterrestrial life. Detected with 99.7% confidence that DMS is present. Within the next two years, scientists will push this confidence to the gold standard of five sigma certainty, reaching 99.99994% proof that biology exists beyond Earth. Pending further verification, this discovery transforms our cosmic perspective entirely. If life flourishes just 124 light years away, the universe likely contains countless inhabited worlds broadcasting their chemical signatures into space, waiting for our telescopes to decode their messages. What kind of life do you imagine thriving beneath K218b's hydrogen seas? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. 
We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.